God never abandons his children. Neither does he ever take back any gifts that he has given them. Not all people are God's children. We become children of God by believing in Jesus Christ and accepting him, bowing down before him and accepting him as our Lord and our Master. And then he makes us new inside. We are born again by the Spirit of God. We become children of God. But not all children of God are obedient children. Many of those who were born again, who have become children of God, are disobedient. They go away from God. They turn their back on God. They go after their own desires and they forget that they committed to serve and obey Jesus Christ. Many of those who have accepted Jesus and have experienced the joy of salvation refuse to obey Jesus. They refuse to be baptized in water. They become religious. They do not seek Jesus. They do not obey His words. They are children of God because God accepted them. He gave them the new life, but they turn away from Him. They turn away from Jesus. Jesus compared our relationship with Him to that of the true vine and the branches. Jesus said that every branch in me that does not bear good fruit will get cut off and burned. And every branch that does bear fruit will get pruned. If we are serious about following Jesus, if we as children of God are trying to do His will, then He will discipline us, He will teach us, and He will coach us. He will prune us like you prune the vine so that it can bear more good fruit. But some of the branches refuse to bear fruit. They go their own way. They turn back to their life of sin and disobedience. They refuse to be corrected. They refuse to be disciplined. And those will get cut off and burned. Many have accepted Jesus. They have become children of God. They're born again. And God has given them spiritual gifts. Many have been baptized in the Holy Spirit. And they spoke in tongues. But they turned away from Jesus. Some of them still speak in tongues, even though they live in sin. Others despise the gift. And they lose it. God gives us some gifts of healing and other gifts. And they keep on practicing those gifts but for their own gain. Among them there are preachers who have turned away from Jesus. They have churches and by worldly standards they are doing very well. They are successful but they are not serving Jesus anymore. They serve themselves. Many of them cast out demons and people think that they are true servants of God. They were born again, but they're not serving Jesus anymore. They turned away from Him. It is to them that Jesus will say in that day, Go away, I never knew you, you workers of wickedness. And they will say, Lord, Lord, but we preached in your name. We healed the sick. We cast out demons. And He will say, Go away, I never knew you. Because these people fell away from Jesus. They used the gifts for their own benefit. Many of those with ministries and churches are like that. You see, God never takes back His gifts. The calling and the gifts of God are irrevocable. When Jesus called you, 
to follow him he does not take back the calling neither does he take back the gifts but many go and use it for their own benefit to their own detriment and they lead many astray with them Jesus Christ will never abandon us he will never reject us he loves us he is faithful but we have to remain faithful to him many have backslidden they've gone away from Jesus many once knew his voice but then they returned to their first works of immorality and sin have gone away from the master and many of those want to come back to Jesus but I think that he will not accept them you are still a child of God even though you're disobedient even though you have strayed from the Lord but if you return to him if you repent he will accept you he will gladly welcome you back but you need to get back to Jesus many of those who once followed Jesus and who fell away are in a big trouble their whole life is falling to pieces because Jesus is calling them back he's disciplining them and they fail to see it Jesus will never abandon his children he does not give up on us but if we keep on straying from him keep on going back to sin keep on going our own way there will come a day when we will get cut off and burned we will end up in hell with the children of disobedience once you are born again you are born again you are a child of God but not all children of God are obedient children not all of them serve the master many of them serve themselves and they serve sin it is only those who faithfully serve the master who stay with Jesus until the end only they will inherit the kingdom of God only they will have eternal life we have to endure with Jesus until the very end if you once knew Jesus and you've strayed get back to him before it is too late he never left you he never abandoned you you left him you abandoned him go back to Jesus before it is too late he loves you and he cares for you Jesus Christ will never abandon his own my Jesus bless you Jesus Christ is Lord and he is alive Hell is real, and those who disobey Jesus will go there. I am here to share my testimony, and to put your hand in the hand of Jesus, so that you can know Him and follow Him. Please hit the Repent and Be Baptized button to subscribe and learn more about Jesus. My Jesus bless you.